you want to wash it when it's when all the dirty linen is washed, we we'll see when the, the, the clothes are hanging out the line a good summer's day like today, they'll be fairly well stained. And need the washing machine and dads or whatever they call it that they use now, I don't know, they've more to run away from dads. I'm, I'm not saying I'm a bad um, house homemaker now that I don't do some washing, but I'm not up to speed in, in the the capsules that go in, the type of them that go into the washing machine. But it used to be, it used to be surf and jazz and when, when I was a Dino, and Crown Cole, I remember that as well. But look, we have a lot of uh, uh, cleaning up to do. So this bill is not fit for purpose. Margot uh, Cancola, I too would like to uh, issue my congratulations to Sinn Féin, party Sinn Féin and indeed Deputy Kenny for being proud of this motion and I know that he's worked tirelessly behind the scenes to try and get uh, as much support, unanimous support, unanimity if possible. We had that here <coughs> last week in a debate, I was near as possible to that. So as I said last week, Ireland has a proud record and has had a proud record since our independence of being a neutral country and indeed we were recognised worldwide. And our diaspora abroad, we're very proud of that. And I also want to say that I do salute and thank our uh, peacekeeping uh, forces, right from the Congo when I was a Bukadog, uh, to right up to the present day, for the way they commit and carry out their uh, well recognised sterling duties of peacekeeping in very troubled, troubled areas. And our own history teaches us that, you know, that the, the, the situation in Northern Ireland and the conflict there from 69 to 98, you know, over 3,000 lives were lost. One life lost, you know, because of a political difference is one life, life too many. Not to mention uh, the women and children and homes, as I said, hospitals, uh, uh, primary care centres. And the savagery that, uh, that uh, apartheid Israel, uh, and you call it nothing else, have uh, perpetrated these, you know, demolition and, and, and destruction of uh, the Palestinians is just mind-boggling and shocking. And it's time you know, as I said, we had, and we have a ceasefire, thankfully, uh, we're weak, or eight days now, nine days maybe, a fragile piece of, but the guns and the, and the bombs aren't going off, thankfully, but there's still an incremental takeover and wipeout and ethnic cleansing of uh, the Palestinian people. And this is not acceptable in the modern day world. And our voice must be heard, uh, Minister Coveney, our voice must be heard more loudly and more clearly. And we must, with our seat now in the UN, we must be able to be proud and find our feet again as a proud, independent, uh, neutral nation. And be, not, don't be afraid of vested interests and global interests and don't be cowed down to European global interests and call it for what it is. It's ethnic cleansing. It's an apartheid as bad as it was under Mugabe in South Africa. Nothing short of it. And it must be stopped because the children and our children, we were all the day, not the hour, when we'll be in some kind of perilous situation and we need uh, small nations around the world to show empathy and show courage and show bravery and uh, try and stand up for us. Because, and I was very disappointed in uh, President now, uh, Biden, new, the new president in, in America. Well, his words were quite measly, I thought. You know, when he half condemned them and then he said he also recognized you know the situation in Israel for what they were so they're welded obviously to the Israelis and they're supporting the, the might and they're arming him and they're spending a fortune in that global global um, you know um, trade of, of weaponry of weapons of, of destruction you could say mass destruction when you compare the might of Israel towards the small area and small population of, of, of the Palestinians so it is you know they're weapons of mass destruction from that point of view so Tassiullah we're going to get all the uh, peace of Bjorg again. If you play a small part to uh, for history to record that we didn't stand idly by, as I said, two weeks ago and come out to quote, or a week ago to quote the former teacher, Jack Lynch. We played our part as a sovereign country, a nation here, that we want this stopped. We want it stopped now. So I, I fully support this motion and the amendments that I put down as well. And I'm sorry that the government didn't see their way to support it. Gormahagut, uh, the Thank you very much,